Let's look at the water gas, water liquid system and talk about the equilibrium constant for this equilibrium as a function of temperature. So how does K vary for, with temperature for water gas going to water liquid? Is it A, B, or C? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, equilibrium is not a function of temperature, so the line is flat. B, K decreases with temperature because the liquid heats up and expands. Or C, for this reaction, K is the vapor pressure, so it increases with temperature. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're talking about the equilibrium between water liquid and water gas at various temperatures. K, the equilibrium constant for chemical reactions and physical processes, varies with temperature. So how does it vary for this reaction? Well, what we're interested in is the equilibrium of liquid water and gaseous water for every temperature. So actually, if we looked at a phase diagram and said, what are the points on this line that separates liquid gas, liquid and gas. Well, at every point on this line, liquid and gas are in equilibrium. And this is varying with temperature. So this line in the phase diagram corresponds to the equilibrium values. These are the values of the equilibrium constant with temperature. So the equilibrium constant looks just like that line as it varies with temperature. Now, another way you could have done this is said, well, I know as temperature increases, this favors the products. So K should get larger. It's more likely to have gaseous water at equilibrium at high temperatures than the liquid water. So you could also say, well, K increases with T because I know something about this physical process. Either way, you arrive at the same answer, C.